Okay, so now I've gotten this piece to a point where I have half of it completed and I'm going to go through and show you what all I would do next. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off this bottom layer and I want to come in and I'm going to cut off some of this extra hangover in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab a rectangle and I'm going to draw a rectangle that's going to line up and cover up this piece all in there. I'm going to deselect this, go in a little bit smaller, and then I'm going to come on in and select all of this just like so. And I'm going to open up my Pathfinder tool. I'm going to, I'll, if you do not see it, you would go to Window to Pathfinder. Now, what we're going to see as we take, take a look around here, I'm going to actually choose the divide click. So I'm going to have the divide piece um, and I'm going to click this off. Now I'm going to uh, I'm going to grab my white arrow. I'm going to click this piece off, click this piece off and I can come in a little bit closer and every place that has overlapped will now delete. So and that was a little a little trick to get rid of this little, these overlapping pieces. Okay, wonderful. Okay, next step that I want to do is come on in and group this, copy it, paste it, flip it. So here it goes. I'm going to grab my black arrow. I'm going to click around. I want to select all of this. For the sake of this project, it looks like it already is grouped. I'm going to come to edit, copy, edit, paste in front. Now as I take a look at this and I see the width, I can see that my width is 1.7333. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to bring this, if it was to be exact, it would come to 1.7333. I can grab this, I can move it on over, and there we have it. Now, the story with this image of this dog, if I um, was to take a little bit of a closer look, again, this dog named Doug, is there's all of this information on him on the white in his nose. So I do definitely want to capture a little bit of that. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to create another layer and I'm going to name it right side. And there's going to be a little bit, some things that I want to put in here. Now, I turned off my grid so I could see it a little bit better. So I'm going to come to Illustrator, to Preferences, to Guides and Grids. And I want to put the grid back in front. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to get a little bit more of this info. Now, again, as I start to place it, I may need to move things around a little bit. So I'm going to be prepared to do that. So I'm going to click and add some of this white information that really defines who this dog is. He has this white patch on his nose, as you can see. Okay, I'm going to speed this part of the video up and I'll come back when I have this other detail for his right side complete and show you how I'll go about placing it and making it all work together. Okay, so now I have done a little bit of work, added his white patch, added a little bit more info too. Actually, overall, the right side of his face is much more in light. So what I want to do though is I'm going to turn off the grid for a minute. So I actually come to view and I'm just going to hide the grid. I'm going to zoom it on out and I am going to now come on in and put this on up and turn, bullet this on down and turn this side on. Okay, so there we have it. And actually, you know what? The info worked out kind of okay. The only thing I'm not wild about is what I just did with the eye. So I'm going to take this info right in here and move it over. And there we have it. I like it much better right in there. Okay, I'm going to turn off this layer right in here. I'm going to click to this little piece right here and darken it a little bit because I feel like it's just a little bit too bright. 
and click on off. And there we have it. Now I'm going to actually come on in over here. Sometimes you use a little bit of artistic license. I'm going to ungroup this piece. I'm going to click this little one right here and make it more of the color of this over in here. And there we have it. Okay. So thanks so much for listening. The last thing that I would do is I could take this whole image. I could object, I could group it. I'm going to make it larger, bring it on right into here. And I'm going to choose a color and put a color behind it. He looks a tad bit robotic. I'm going to come to object arrange, send to back, and there we have it. Now I can also resize my artboard. Click right onto this to fit the size of this image. And again, any changes that I'd want to make now would be the time to do so uh, with color or grouping things a little bit differently. Now what's amazing about Illustrator 2 is you know, this is a vector image, so it is resolution independent. You can make it as large as you would like to. I'm going to center this on my page, bring this on over, and there we have it. He looks kind of a little on the mean side, a tad bit robotic. Oh, I can see a shape right in here, so I'm actually going to fill that in as well. Again, coming on in finishing some of these last little pieces. Let's bring this. Again, I'm going to send it behind everything so it doesn't necessarily matter 100% what color it is. I'll make it that color. Object Arrange, Send to Back. Aha, now I need it to be above though. I need this one to be in the back. So I can change the order and there we have it. Thanks so much for listening. Quick recap. Again, starting with an image that is more face on, if you'd like to just do half of the side of it and then turning on your grid, turning on your guides, bringing the grid to the front of the image and working with the pen tool to create geometric shapes that define the structure of the image, of the animal, of the human, of the sculpture head that you've chosen. Thanks so much for listening.